The date is June 23, 1972. President Richard Nixon signs a law that would soon ban gender discrimination in schools and give equal education to millions of girls across the country, from elementary schoolers to college students. One woman looks on, Congresswoman Patsy Mink. Patsy Mink was born on December 6, 1927 in Maui, Hawaii, a third-generation Japanese-American. On December 7, 1941, when she was in high school, the Empire of Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. Soon to follow was widespread discrimination against Japanese Americans based on the belief that the Japanese in the country would side with Japan, not the US, in the soon to come World War. Yet, even during this difficult time, Mink was elected to become the student body president and valedictorian of her class. Unfortunately, she continued to suffer discrimination in college. Her dorms were segregated and she continued to be treated poorly by her classmates, leading her to change schools many times. She eventually decided to study law at the University of Chicago, where she met her husband, John. Although Mink passed her bar exam, she could not find any work as a dedicated lawyer because she had already had married and had a child. Employers had assumed that her being a mother meant she could not work long hours. In 1954, after moving back to Hawaii, Mink finally found work as an attorney for the House of Representatives, kickstarting her career in politics. When Hawaii became a state in 1959, Mink began to work up the political ladder. In 1962, she became a member of the state senate, then in 1964, she was elected to the House of Representatives, becoming the first Asian American woman to do so. During her first 12 years in office, she fought for gender and racial equality, affordable child care, and bilingual education. In 1972, Mink co-authored and advocated for the landmark Title IX, the law which prohibited sex-based discrimination in education. She also later introduced the Women's Educational Equity Act in 1974, this time outlawing all sex stereotypes in elementary and middle schools. The effects of these two laws were monumental. To put it into statistics, only 300,000 girls participated in school sports by the end of the 1960s. Today, that number has shot up to 3.5 million. Women made up roughly 40% of all college degrees in the United States at the time. Now, they make up more than 60%. From 1982, Mink returned to Hawaii to serve in the Honolulu City Council until 1990 when she was re-elected to the House and served for six terms until she passed away on September 28, 2002. After her death, she was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama, who lauded Mink for being a passionate advocate for opportunity, equality, and realizing the full promise of the American dream. Title IX, her greatest achievement, was renamed the Patsy T. Mink Equal Opportunity Education Act in her honor. We owe a lot to Patsy Mink, not only for being an icon for Asian Americans to follow, but also for advancing standards of education and equality for all Americans.